Welcome to USMLEFastTrack.com. The section we're going to talk about today is from First Aid for the USMLE Step 1, 2013 edition. Page 348. Coagulation, Complement, and Kinin Pathway. What is the purpose of extrinsic and intrinsic coagulation pathway? The purpose of extrinsic and intrinsic coagulation pathway is to initiate coagulation. Describe the start of the extrinsic coagulation pathway. To start the extrinsic coagulation pathway, you need factor 7, and factor 7 then becomes activated factor 7. That little a here stands for activated, so factor 7 becomes activated factor 7, and that activated factor 7 will convert factor 10 to activated factor 10. Describe the start of the intrinsic coagulation pathway. Intrinsic coagulation pathway starts with factor 12, and when factor 12 is exposed to a lot of different things such as collagen, basement membrane, activated platelets, and HMWK, which stands for high molecular weight kinetogen. And when all these things happen, factor 12 converts to activated factor 12. That activated factor 12 converts factor 11 to activated factor 11, and that activated factor 11 converts factor 9 into activated factor 9. Activated factor 9 uses the cofactor activated factor 8, and it converts factor 10 to factor 10A. So both intrinsic and extrinsic pathway gets you to a point where factor 10 is converted into activated factor 10. And this will start up the common pathway. Describe the first step of the common pathway. In the first step of the common pathway, that activated factor 10 uses the activated factor 5 as a cofactor. These activated factor 10 and activated factor 5 collectively will convert prothrombin or factor 2 into factor 2A, which is thrombin. What is the function of thrombin, also known as factor 2A? The function of thrombin, also known as activated factor 2, is to break down fibrinogen into fibrin monomers. Describe how fibrin monomers becomes clot. Fibrin monomers, they will aggregate when there is calcium around, and with calcium and fibrin monomer aggregation, this will turn into a clot. So this fibrin mesh will act to stabilize platelet plug. What are the other factors that thrombin also help to convert? Thrombin helps to convert factor 8 to factor 8A, and we mentioned earlier that factor 8A along with factor 9A is what converts factor 10 to factor 10A. Another place where thrombin is also used is to convert factor 5 to factor 5A, and we also mentioned 5A earlier when we said 5A is a cofactor along with factor 10A to convert prothrombin into thrombin. So even though the final result was to create thrombin, thrombin has a positive feedback mechanism that will stimulate its own production. One additional thing to note here is that thrombin also converts factor 13 into factor 13A, and factor 13A helps in the clot formation to make the meshwork stronger. So this basically summarizes the whole coagulation pathway. What is hemophilia A? Hemophilia A is a condition that occurs if there is a deficiency of factor 8. And based on the picture here, you could see that the intrinsic pathway will have a hard time getting into the common pathway. But we will talk more about hemophilias at a different time. What is hemophilia B? Hemophilia B is the deficiency of factor 9. And based on the picture again, you would see that the intrinsic pathway will have a hard time getting into the common pathway. For more information on this topic, click on the link in the description section below. For a full USMLE Step 1 review, be sure to check us out at usmlefasttrack.com where we help you review the entire first aid for the USMLE Step 1 with high quality videos and hundreds of detailed pictures for a better understanding of the material. So to learn from the best USMLE review book, be sure to check us out at usmlefasttrack.com.